God's plan. God's plan. Hello, what is up? My name is Avalon, and today we're going to talk about some pros and cons of having a pixie cut. I've now had my pixie cut since January, and it is the end of May right now. So I've had it for a little while, a few months, and I feel like I'm experienced enough to talk about this subject finally. <laughs> Brainstormed and thought up 10 pros and 10 cons. So we're just gonna go through the pros first, start off happy, and then go through the cons last and end on a sad note. So my first pro is that it is so much easier to style. Like it's so fast. Like all I have is this hair on the top of my head. I don't have to worry about the rest of it. And my hair was really, really long before. So it took a really long time to style and do everything and wash and blow dry and all that junk. Number two, and that is that your head stays cool during the summer. It's really nice to feel a breeze when your hair is short during the summertime. It's just great. <laughs> Number three, so another one that is so great is you can drive with the windows down and it doesn't matter if you are wearing lip gloss like thank goodness or let's say it's just really windy outside it makes you my life so much easier and it's just it's great it's great it doesn't completely ruin my hair when I go outside and it's windy and number four and that is I shouldn't say there's no tangles but I have barely any tangles because my hair is so short and I don't have much of it. Of course, you know, my shave part isn't going to tangle. And the top of it, it just doesn't really tangle too much. I can even use a comb, which was never a thing that I could ever do before when I had my hair really long. It took forever to comb it out. This is bad, but sometimes I didn't brush my hair for like a week and I have naturally curly hair and my hair would just mat up and it would take me forever to brush it all the way back out and it was just a nightmare number five since you have to cut your hair quite often i feel like the hair feels so much more healthy because i feel like it's so like fresh and when you've been growing your hair for a really long time and it's really long the ends usually get dried out. Um, I used to get split ends and things like that and I hated my split ends. And sometimes I would just sit there and just cut them off really annoyingly. So number six. Now, another pro is that there are no more cat calls. There's no more boys coming up to me saying, you're beautiful. There's nothing like that, which is, which is great. I hate it. When I'm just minding my own business, let's say I'm at school or something and I'm sitting there, I'm working on my homework and some dude walks up to me and starts to try to initiate a conversation. Where are you from? It doesn't matter. I'm just here to do my homework, sir. And I'm always very polite. So I'm always like, yeah, we can talk even though I don't want to at all. So it's great that nobody is approaching me anymore. I just want to be left alone. I have a boyfriend, I'm good. Number seven is that it feels amazing. I don't know if you're out there and you have a buzzed head. Oh my gosh. I could rub the back of my head forever. It feels so amazing. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just sitting there and I don't even notice and I'm just rubbing the back of my head because it feels like some kind of crazy massage. It just feels so much lighter. Um, I, when my hair was super duper long, my hair was kind of heavy and after we cut it off, it was like, whoa. I didn't even know that I worked up all those muscles in my neck just to hold up my hair. But it just feels so much, so much better. Number eight. I like that a pixie is very bo boyish. It's like really fun to style your wardrobe around this boyish aspect, I guess. 
Um, I think pixies can be for ladies. I mean, short hair can be for ladies and for men, like whatever, who cares? Sometimes I like really like to play up the boyishness and like wear something kind of dudish, but sometimes I think it's so cute to like wear something really feminine. Not really like dresses because I don't really wear dresses very often, but something like um, a romper or just like a feminine top. I feel like this is pretty feminine. I don't know how many dudes you see wearing this, but I don't know. I just think that playing up the boyishness or playing up the girliness and seeing different like styles that you can wear. So number nine pro is that it is so much easier to wear a hood. Cause like you can, you don't have to pull out your hair to the front. You don't have to worry about your hair running down your neck when you wear a hood um, or when you wear a scarf. I had really curly hair, so my hair kind of got poofy. So when I put on a scarf, my hair would just poof up even further cause that scarf is holding it out for miles. So it was like a very large mushroom and I just hated how that would happen sometimes. So I never wore scarves ever, and now I'm realizing I have the opportunity now that I have short hair. And the tenth and final pro is that it is really fun to experiment. Since you have short hair, if you have short hair, it's so much easier to go from one different hairstyle to another pretty quickly between like months and time. <laughs> Like you can have all over, you know, kind of longer pixie or you can have like short sides or you could do like a really short pixie or let's say you just decide to buzz your head. Like I feel like you can go from different types of haircuts extremely quickly. Whereas if you were to have long hair, you could definitely go from different haircuts. But sometimes I know with me when my hair was like really long it was kind of hard to see when I got a little bit of a trim. Um, I guess you could do like layering if you have long hair. And there's definitely different techniques that you can do with long hair. But I feel like you can redo your pixie so much more. If that makes any sense at all. I don't know. So now we have gotten to the con part of this video. We're going to talk about all the negatives for having short hair as a lady. So my first con, we're gonna get right into it. People are going to think you're a lesbian. Just sometimes they're just going to think that. And it's not gonna just be straight people all the time. Sometimes it's going to be ladies who think you are a lesbian and then they try to flirt with you and then it's like, yeah, I, I have a boyfriend. So no can do, no can do. That can be very awkward. But I feel like ladies are much less likely, I could be wrong, but this is just in my experience, is that ladies are much less likely to like walk up to you and start a conversation. And I feel like dudes just sometimes, they also come up to you and then they don't know when you want them to go away. <laughs> so, and number two con is that your head will get cold. Whenever I'm in air conditioning or it's really cold outside, my head gets so cold and then I'm cold everywhere because your head lets out a lot of heat, same as your extremities. So I get really, really cold sometimes. So I purposefully have a hat that I'm keeping at work right now to put on whenever I start feeling very cold. It feels so strange. The first time that I had my hair cut, I was like, what is this feeling? It almost felt like my hair, like on the sides, it almost feels like it's wet or like, you know, when you get out of the shower and then your hair is drying and your hair kind of feels cold like that. It feels like that, but only like around here for me. So I assume if you were to shave your head, it would feel very cold. Number three, this might be a personal problem. This might not have to do with you or anybody at all. I've been going to the gym lately and I get reasonably sweaty, not like two, but definitely sweaty. 
and I don't know if anybody else's head sweats, but mine does. And when I had long hair, my hair would kind of like keep all that sweat in there and nobody would ever see it. But now it kind of just goes everywhere and it's like, hello, I'm drenched and it'll just like run down the back of my neck and that's so gross, you didn't even want to know that. So we'll move on to the next one. Number four is that it grows really fast. I absolutely hate it when the back of my head, these back little hairs get really long and then you have the mullet situation, but not quite the mullet situation and it's like awkward and not the greatest situation in the world. Con number five is that it is expensive. I mean, it's not terribly expensive, but it's a lot more expensive than having long hair. Before I cut my hair the first time into a pixie, I had not cut my hair in I think like three years, like professionally cut my hair in like three years. And since January, I have cut my hair three times, totaling around $130. That's like everything all together going to different places. So it's the prices are kind of uneven, but it's kind of expensive, like very much so to keep, to upkeep with your hair constantly. And you're gonna want to keep up with it because it just starts to look crazy after a bit, like I said before. Number six, there is not much variety when it comes to styling your pixie cut. Again, it depends on the pixie cut that you have, but it is much harder to style because while I could probably do like cornrows or something on the top of my head, maybe I could style it like that, or maybe I could give myself a faux hawk or something. There's not as many options as there is with longer hair, with braiding and curling and straightening. Actually, I do straighten my hair, so that's not really an issue. But also, it depends with how short your hair is, because if your hair is like shaved all over, you're not gonna have a different haircut at all. You're just gonna have the same haircut all the time. However, that would be really easy to manage and that would be great. Picking out your pixie kind of matters because you have to figure out what style you're gonna want to wear your hair in pretty much every single day until you get a new haircut. Number seven is that growing out is gonna be a pain. I already know it, I know it. I am going to grow out my pixie eventually and I'm going to take pictures and do videos about growing out my pixie when it happens. And I already know it's gonna be a nightmare. It's gonna be terrible, but it'll be okay. I'll make it through it. So, well, you, if you grow out yours, it'll be fine. Uh, number eight con is that your hair gets oily a lot faster. Now, I don't understand this, but I have to wash my hair at least every other day. If I go over that, my hair starts to look wild, like really, really oily. I was really surprised to find this out, which is fine because I go to the gym and stuff and after the gym, I take a shower anyways. But I used to not wash my hair very often, probably like once or twice a week. And now I wash my hair at least three times a week. So it's definitely, it's been different and it has its own like growing pains getting used to things. Number nine, we're almost there. And that is bedhead. Bedhead can be a good thing, but sometimes it just ruins everything in life and it's just terrible. And then you go to work and you had no time to style your hair and you look like an absolute mess and everybody knows it and they tell you, you have some serious bedhead today. And sometimes I'll try to like run water over my hair if I didn't have enough time to style it at home and I'm like, please just go down because it just does not want to cooperate at all. Number 10, 
finally we are to the last con and that is that people have their own opinions about what you should look like especially as a lady or as a man too you know girls are supposed to have long hair boys are supposed to have short hair and etc but honestly if you're happy with it why does it even matter what other people think I don't know so that's it folks um, thank you so much for watching that is so cool and I just want to say like when I first cut my hair I watched a lot of videos kind of like this so it was like let me make one for anybody who's just like curious or wants to know pros and cons and what's up so peace out you have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye